Good morning. So, my new favorite store, Dollar Tree. So, me and my daughter Haley were there about maybe a week and a half ago. You've probably already seen that vlog. Um, and we got Christmas things because we made these bins for our King's Kids group. We do this, this kids group. We've been doing it for 27 years now. And they had the coolest, coolest Christmas stuff and like treats and stuff. And so we put together these cocoa buckets for the kids. And it was just like, they had like the best stuff, like all the candy cane, the flavored candy canes that I can't wait to put on my tree. I'm still trying to get that together. So I had found a couple things like those applesauce things that are really, really good. And we got the banana mango and all that's in it is banana and mango. And it's a pack of like six for like a dollar and a quarter. And so I thought, you know what? I, I don't think to check out Dollar Tree for snacks. I'm so used to going to Walmart, Myers, or our local grocery stores. And I never think to, to look at these stores. Well, I've been in here a couple of times just kind of checking things out. And I'm going to say that Dollar Tree is now my new store because you can find so many cool things. Now you do have to be careful because some things that are a dollar and a quarter, you can get a dollar at Walmart. So you do have to be careful. And I'm really kind of sad that my family dollar haul was just not good. And so I grabbed my coffee of choice is a flat white. So I get a Vente flat white with heavy cream and then I get whatever flavor cold foam they have on it. Um, and I do get it hot. And so I got the creme brulee today. So, um, all right, well, here we go on my snack Dollar Tree haul. So I'm up early because Izzy forgot her Chromebook and all her school stuff. I thought, well, since I'm up, I might as well come in and get my shopping done. So here we go. So I have my ladies cookie party coming up on Tuesday and I thought these were super cute. I'm gonna have about probably 20 ladies. So I did pick up snowman plates and napkins. Now on to the food. So they have all these freezer foods and there's like burritos and stuff. But we just don't eat that kind of stuff. Like, that's not like snacky snack. That's like full on meals. I don't know. You gotta really be careful. They have juices, but you definitely gotta be careful of the prices. Those balanced crackers, those don't look too bad. Check those out. Okay, these are what I was talking about. I guess it's a pack of three. I thought it was a pack of six. But these things are absolutely amazing. We got these already. And my kids love them. They just grab them if they need like a fast pick me up. They're really, really good. And my, my daughter Haley said they're normally like $9 elsewhere. So I'm gonna double check at other places and see before I pick up more, but they're really good. I just checked Walmart. A 10 pack of these are $9. So even if I got nine, it'd only be $3.75. So I'm gonna grab, um, I'm gonna grab the pineapple and the mango I don't know if my kids will like the apple, but I'm gonna get a ton of these. We're going through them like hotcakes. So they also make smoothies, and my kids are always making smoothies after they lift weights. So it has strawberry, orange, mango passion fruit. So I'm gonna grab a couple of these. No sugar added, all fruit. Wow, that's super cool. Yeah, I'm gonna get me some of these for the boys. Then they don't have to make smoothies. They're already in a pack. Yeah, this is a great idea. The kids can grab a breakfast sandwich and a smoothie and head to school. Wow, I love that so much. I think I'm even gonna eat these. Wonderful. Look at this, hazelnut spread. Noah loves Nutella. Let's see if it's as good as Nutella. Mm. Wow, super cool. I found this Jet Puff hidden in the back here. Seven ounces. I looked at Walmart, it's $1.60. These are a dollar and a quarter. So I'll save 40 cents. So I think I'm gonna get all four of these because it is now the holidays for making things. I'm gonna grab all of them. People must have tried to hide them back there. There we go. I'm still in the first part of the aisle. I haven't even moved. And I found the smoothies, the applesauce, the Nutella, and the Jet Puff. And I haven't even moved into the aisle. There's my cart so far. I'm finding some good deals and I'm price checking with Walmart. For my next weekly breakfast I'm gonna make my kids really like the English muffins and they're a dollar and a quarter for six so I'm gonna pick them up now to make their weekly breakfasts price these out 
The English muffins at Walmart are $3.83 and $6. These are a dollar and a quarter. So I just need enough for the week. All right, here we go. Okay. This is a lot of fun. I'm loving this. Okay. My son Noah loves pudding, but bleh. what's this? We're always eating ice cream. I don't know any of these brands. Huh. So Joshi likes to snack on these, and I just looked it up. It's four fifty for twenty of them, and this is a dollar and a quarter for ten. So that actually is still a good deal. But I think I'm gonna get him the chocolate ones. Oh crap! I have to pick those up. All right. The pop tarts aren't bad. I've actually had this brand. They're actually not bad, but we don't do a lot of that stuff. But Joshy likes to put these in his lunches, so I'm gonna get him two more here. Okay, there we go. All right, here's another pack. These are for Joshy. There we go. Cool. So this is a really good idea. Just put milk in it, but they're a dollar a piece, and you can get a whole box for five. So the concept of on the go fast is a really good idea but the fact that they're a dollar and a quarter and you can get a box of cereal for $5 doesn't really make any sense. But it is a good concept though. I like the on the go for sure. I really love Honey Nut Cheerios. All right. Oh, look at these. Nice. Oh, here's some more chocolate ones. Ooh, coffee. This is so nice. There's nobody here. Oh, oat milk. I love putting oat milk into my coffee. And look at this, almond milk. For smoothies, that's a great idea. Sheesh. I'm not even halfway down the aisle, you guys. Look. <laughs> this is amazing. It's a wonderful morning. So coffee filters. My daughter uses coffee filters to clean my windows. You wet one, and then you put a dry one after it, and it works great. So we're going to grab some coffee filters for more window cleaning. There we go. And I called my son, Robert, and told him about these smoothies in a pouch because I was going to get him some almond milk. And he said, wow, it's a great idea. So I actually picked up more of these because I have four boys that are lifting right now and they always make a smoothie after they lift. Oh my goodness. And they're huge, you guys. They're absolutely huge. I actually found these at Walmart a while ago and they're $1.30 here. They're a dollar and a quarter. But I don't want to just get them to get them. So I'm going to pass on that. And look at these gravy. I mean, I do make my own gravy. I have to check and see what the price is at Walmart for this. Because I don't make my own brown gravy. I could, I guess. But these are nice when you're doing different roasts. So I just checked the Walmart price. And these are only 92 cents at Walmart. So this, in fact, is more expensive than Walmart. So now if you guys want to come Dollar Tree shopping, I'm giving you the prices so you know what's a good deal and what's not. So this is not a good deal. Just to let you know, you'll be paying 25, 35 cents more if you get them here. All right, ooh, this is, I love charcuterie. Ooh, nice. So I wanna share something with you guys. So you see these bottles that say, they, some of them say real lemon juice, no added ingredients. So if you flip it over, it has sodium benzoate, it has sodium mesobolate. Like they, it's not just lemon juice. I actually found one at Walmart that you guys have seen during our hauls and it strictly says lemon juice. So don't be fooled because I was fooled. I pity the fool who thinks it's just lemon juice. <laughs> Sadly, my Joshua loves the mac and cheese Cheetos. They're a dollar and a quarter. They're a dollar 35 at Walmart. So I'll still save 10 cents, but I think I'm gonna get him a couple because he loves these, the Cheetos ones. He likes the hot Cheeto ones too. So even though I make my own wonderful mac and cheese, they like to make it real fast sometimes after school. So I'll get a couple of, I am dropping things everywhere. All right, here we go. So the Kraft mac and cheese is a dollar 23 at Walmart and it's a dollar, oh, there's another one. And it's a dollar 25 here. So it is cheaper to get them individually at Walmart. You'll save two cents and two cents is two cents, right? <laughs> so I just priced the noodles. These are 20 ounce boxes for a dollar and a quarter and the 16 ounces are $1.93. So I'm gonna pick up some of these. 
because I am completely out of rotini noodles. So they make really good Spanish rice. It's $1.36 at Walmart, a dollar and a quarter here, so I am gonna pick some of these up here. It's really, this actually brand is really, really good. I know this is a snack haul, but since I'm here. So my daughter, Izzy, loves rice. She'll come home, make rice, and put butter on it. So these are jasmine rice. All it has in it is jasmine rice, vitamin C, and sunflower oil. I'm gonna get her a couple of these. She'll love that, because these she does eat rice and potatoes after school. So we're gonna get a couple of those. I forgot about my noodles. I was talking to my daughter. All right, so we're gonna get a couple of these, because I did have a dish I'm making for my husband with his salmon. Okay, there we go, two of those. Okay, so there's my cart so far. I wonder if I should get spaghetti noodles. I only need the rotini noodles though. All right, I got rice. Ooh, soup cups, that's great. Look at the Tapata Roma new. My kids love these, oh my goodness, you guys. Izzy and Noah, those are my kids that love these things. But you can just pop them in the microwave. No, they're not the best for you for sure, but they're fun, right? All right, yeah, take a look at these. Look at that. I don't even know who that is. It's funny. So the ramen noodle cups at Walmart are only 57 cents for the same size. So we're gonna pass on that. I can get them at Walmart for 57 cents. That's not a good deal on these. Pass on those. Oh, I used to eat these as a kid. Look at that, Frank's hot. This was my favorite, right here, where is it? Right there, I used to get those as a kid for Christmas in my stocking and my grandma would get me a can like twice as big. Yeah, I love those, I lived off those chili and I lived off these my dad bought these all the time and the potted meat we made sandwiches all the time this is this is what I ate right here you guys I should get them for my kids and have them try them that'd be hilarious oh my goodness I'm gonna do that so I'm gonna do a video of things I ate as a kid I grabbed these these raviolis and then I grabbed sardines these are things we ate for snacks as a kid I'm gonna have my kids try them and see what they think <laughs> These are my favorite black beans that I like to use, these different beans, and they're $1.43 at Walmart. They're a dollar and a quarter here. So I save almost 20 cents a can. So I did pick up some black beans already. Chickpeas, bleh. So I'm gonna get up some red beans and pinto beans to add to my chilies. So I'm gonna get some of these. It's not a snack, but I didn't know they had Goya. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to be quiet. I don't wanna disrupt others. It's so quiet in here, I feel like I make too much oh, look at those oh my goodness i was looking for these oh, i'm getting these salt and pepper shakers how cute is that i might even get two maybe get one set for Haley. oh my goodness we also ate sliced pears in a can and then peaches maybe that's why i don't like peaches they're too slimy for me so i'm gonna get some of these for my kids to try the pears and see what they like this is what i ate as a kid too my kids really do like peaches, and I looked at the back, and there's no sugar added. They added pear juice and vitamin C. Huh, that's what ascorbic acid is, vitamin C. I'm gonna grab some of these for my kids. They love pears, or they love peaches. All right, let's get them a couple. See, these are all snacky stuff. I kind of veered off a little bit. Here we go, there we go. So Noah likes to do these tuna fishes, and they're a dollar. 38 at Walmart, so I'll save 15 cents. So I'm gonna grab them a couple. They like these to eat after they work out, so I'm gonna grab some of these. So I officially completed one aisle, and here is my cart. Now the other aisle is with the cookies and stuff, so we'll see what's in that aisle. But so far we're doing good. I've been checking prices, and yeah, so let's head to the next aisle. I'm actually gonna go this way. They're working hard, I don't wanna interrupt them. Okay, aisle one done. All right, we're to the drinks and snacks. I might have to grab another cart though. I think I'm gonna go get another cart. I don't know how much I'm gonna buy in this one, but I'm gonna go grab a second cart, just in case. Plus I do have some Keens Kids things coming up I could buy some snacks for. All right, I'm gonna set this one up here. My kids really like these teas. Those are big ones for a dollar and a quarter. I don't know which one Noah likes though. 
think he likes the peach. Maybe I'll get him a couple of these. And the mango. All right, I'll get him a couple of these to take to school. So I got, I think I'm gonna get him another one of these. Just for a little snack, take to school or something. We're gonna be so excited because I don't normally do this. <laughs> I'm just feeling super great this morning. Got my coffee, my Christmas sweater on. So I went on Walmart and these are $2 a piece, two and a quarter, and I got them for a dollar and a quarter. And these are the really big ones. So a good deal on those and these. Okay, so these Alani shakes are $1.50 a piece at Walmart. These are two and they're a dollar and a quarter here. So these are for Izzy and then these are for Haley. All right, this will be a weekend treat for my kids. My kids love these drinks. Okay, here we go. All right, I'll get a couple for them. I think they're having some friends over this weekend. These are not a good deal, but my daughter loves everything small. So I'm gonna get her one. Oh my goodness, she's gonna love this. Look how cute those are, they're so little. Everybody in my family does not like moon pies. They're not raised in the South like me, but I think I'm gonna get a couple for David. He, him and me are the only ones that really love them. There's vanilla and chocolate. All right, I'm gonna get a couple. So at Walmart, this package is $6, and they're a dollar here. And they have chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. Hmm. I'm gonna get a couple. They'll be good for my charcuterie boards too. All right, I'm gonna grab a couple of these. Super cool. Oh, it's sugar free, I don't want sugar free. Okay, so I picked up vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry, and I'm gonna use them on my boards, and then if somebody just wants a snack on them. I saved $5 a pack on those, holy crap. Oh, oh my goodness. I grew up with these too. We ate these all the time. Oh man, I'm gonna get a couple for my kids to try. These were my favorite. Oh, I love these so much. Sweet, that's super cool, super cool. All right, so I'm a little uh, under half. I got those mini drinks, that stuff, the cookies for my kids to try, part of the try things mom ate when she was younger. These vanilla wafers, I, I can't believe I'm saving $5 a pack. That's craziness, and I looked you guys, I looked twice, that's crazy. Got the moon pies, I do need some uh, pretzels for my, oh, I like the mini pretzels, that's a great idea. For lunches, oh look at chocolate covered pretzels. Those are little bags though. I do need pretzels for um, for my, uh, um, oh, God, I can't talk, um, my almond bark that I'm making. Put that in. I know it's a little bag, but I don't need much. So that'll work out perfect. All right, so crackers and chips. I don't really need any of this stuff. I'll need it when I do my gingerbread houses, but not now. All right, so I look, think I'm kind of done here. Oh, Fiddle Faddle. Oh my goodness. My kids are gonna have to try this too. Do you guys remember Fiddle Faddle? That's awesome. Oh my goodness, I'm getting Fiddle Faddle for my kids. They got lots of things to try. No, I'm gonna, oh, the ones with the, that's, I only remember this one. I don't remember that one. That's Crunch and Munch. Okay, I'm gonna get all three. So my kids love Pringles, but they're like almost $2 a thing. And these are all a dollar and a quarter. So I'm gonna get some and have the kids try them out and see what they think. We really do like Pringles. And they got four different flavors. Okay, we're gonna try these out for a snack too. They really like Slim Jims and I'd save 30 cents a piece on them, but a dollar and a quarter for that and it's done? I don't know. Hmm. I did find these for Josh. He loves, says, sunflower seeds. Look at these. What? They have peach and watermelon. Oh my goodness, I gotta get these for the kids to try. That is super cool. Wow, that's really cool. I also picked up Josh Dill Pickle and Frank's Red Hot Sauce Sunflower Seeds. And then I grabbed three each for the kids. Okay, I think I'm done. I don't need any candy. I've already done my Christmas candy. Okay. So, two aisles with two carts, and I think I got some really good deals. Look at this. Banana chips. Oh, there's nothing in them. For a dollar, ain't nothing in them. I used to eat corn nuts all the time, too. Oh, my goodness. Bringing back the days. These, though. Super oh, look at that. Cool. 
Two cards at Dollar Tree. I've never done this before. Here is my Dollar Tree snack slash grocery haul. Um, I spent $237. I even got some more stuff for my pantry, like the beans. And then I've never really done like a snack haul. It's always been like a regular grocery haul, but I got noodles. Um, and some of this stuff I'm anxious to try with the kids. But this is super cool. So I'm probably not going to do a snack haul for a while. But um, I'm super excited, you guys. I think Dollar Tree is my new favorite. And I got to talk to the lady who checked me out. I knew her. So, yeah, this was a nice morning. All right, my new favorite. I love Dollar Tree. Oh, my goodness. I just spent an, uh, see, an hour and 10 minutes going down two aisles. Two aisles. But I found the coolest things, like the Pringles. I'm really anxious to try the knockoff Pringles. Um, I'm going to do that video with my kids of what mom ate when she was a kid and see what they think. They're going to hate those Vienna sausages because they're really mushy. They're not good. I can't believe I loved them. But my dad would always have them. And like the potted meat, we actually made potted meat sandwiches because, I mean, there was 10 of us and we really didn't have a lot of money. So we ate pimento cheese, potted meat, spam. I mean, bologna. That's just kind of what we ate because it was cheap. And so I'm anxious to <laughs> see what my kids think about that, you know, and um, like the raviolis, I want them to try them. My kids have never had the raviolis before. I've never bought that stuff. Like the SpaghettiOs my friend gave me because she moved away and they're still downstairs. Like we haven't eaten them because we just, I've never just, you know, I've, I've never given it to my kids. And so I just bought my first um, can of raviolis in um, 42 years. I was like 12 when my, 40 years when my grandmother gave them to me for Christmas. Cause that was, so we got to pick out a couple of treats. So I would pick out the Chef Boyardee raviolis. And then my candy was, um, it wasn't Reese's. I think it was, uh, like a, something mint. I can't remember what it was, but, um, you know, we couldn't afford raviolis because to buy raviolis when I was little was a big deal because they weren't cheap. You know, they weren't cheap uh, you know, compared to other things. And so I always look forward to Christmas. My grandmother would get me this big, huge can. I don't know if she got it like a Sam's club, but it was like gigantic. And so all of us got to pick one food and then one candy. And that's what we got for Christmas from my grandma. And we loved it. We look forward to it. And I, I wonder if that's why I still do that with my kids. Like for Chris, for their birthday, they get their favorite drink and their favorite candy as a present and their favorite cereal. Like Noah likes cereal. Izzy likes cereal. So I pick out those things for their birthday um, because I don't really buy a lot of cereals and things like that. You know, if the kids ask, we do. They do like cereal. Um, but we're just so used to, like, eating food food just because maybe because we live on a farm and my husband, you know, likes to have breakfast. And so I'm just making it anyway. Um, but when my kids were littler, I think we did eat more of the treats and stuff. Because when the kids are little, it's so easy just to, like, to grab a box of crackers or something. And when they get older... They don't really crave that stuff so much. So I, I know when my kids were littler, I did get a lot of more boxed things just because I was a busy mom to, you know, I had kids coming in and out of foster care. And then as my kids got older and then I learned to like cooking because I didn't used to like cooking. Then I started making more things from scratch. And now we don't really go out as, as much as any anymore. We do like to go out to lunch though. So I, when I, I get home, I'll lay it all out so you can see what my $237 grocery haul for our big family looks like I'm back I got the groceries unloaded I set it all out so you guys can see it my wonderful Dollar Tree well it's supposed to be a snack haul but it's like a grocery haul too and so my next video you guys I'm gonna show you guys everything here but my next video is gonna be of Izzy and Noah trying the snacks that I ate as a kid and I'm gonna get the reaction especially like the Vienna sausages and the pot of meat they don't even know what that is they have no idea what it is we used to eat it on bread with mayonnaise and that was it and so I don't know if they're gonna like that too well but I'm gonna try it out so let me show you everything that I got all laid out it's all pretty laid out and I think I'm gonna keep it here when the kids get home because I think they're gonna be super excited so let's look okay so these are one of the things I'm gonna have my kids try that I ate as a kid and it's so funny because I called my mom and I'm like mom do you remember this this and she's like yeah yeah and this was another one too um and then, of course, we're going to try these, see if they're just as good as Pringles. And those are for Joshua for his lunches. Joshy even asked, Mom, did you give me those Cheeto mac and cheese? I'm like, yes. And I'm anxious to see what my kids think of these. This is the tahine 
on um, peach rings and watermelon rings. So I'm just curious. I also got um, some nuts too that have the tahini, the chili lime tahini. And so then there's the Alani smoothies. And then I got some sunflower seeds. This is those apple puree and smoothies for the boys after they're done working out. Um, I picked up the chicken and the Spanish rice. Really love this brand. And then jasmine rice for Izzy. She loves to just put butter and cheese on it and salt and she eats it as a snack. Um, I got some more tuna fish and then Izzy is gonna love those. And then this is the stuff they're gonna have no idea what it is. Um, the sliced pears are also to try out peaches beans, more shakes, peace tea. And then um, I like to make the kids the weekly breakfast thing. So there's all the English muffins. So there we go.